like that. That's the actual.
Greetings, globeheads and flat earthers. Today, we're going to show you what it would look like from the globe, the tilted stupid ball. Um, just wait, I think I have one. Yeah, <laughs> right there. We're going to show you what it looks like in the summer in the north when it's uh, tilted towards the sun. Okay, so that'd be this part. Okay, so then you're going uh, down, would be on my side. So let's see. Okay, there. So we show it on your side. Okay, counterclockwise down. So by the time you hit noon, which is right at the nipple here, the sun should be high. Okay, that's why it's called high noon. And then, as you go around, by the time you get to here, okay, that should be midnight. Okay, the sun should start to go down. So, but we're going to do the case of the 24-hour sun, which I don't even really think can work on this model, but let's just pretend it does. So, by the time they get up here, the sun should be low. So, all you're going to see is just the sun doing a circle and really because this is a ball the camera guy is also going to be tilting like this as he goes on his journey going around here okay there's just no way around that he's going to be tilted himself so anyways that's why you get the straight line and then like that that's the actual path so what we're going to show today is that you cannot get the zigzag sun with the straight lines when you loop the footage with this it doesn't work Okay, so there's the sun, and um, we're going to start it off at midnight, so it's going to be low, okay, right there, and I'm at the top of a, of a slope here, okay, it's just a grass incline, goes right to my feet, okay, and it slopes down to there. Okay, so that's going to be my low point when I get there, and the sun should be at the top of your screen. Okay, let's go. I'm going to start walking down the hill. We're going to be going uh, counterclockwise, so towards the right of your screen. Okay, we're going to do a loop. And we'll do it more than once. So now I'm going back up. There. Okay. So, you saw what happened there, right? The sun was, uh, <laughs> I don't want to change the zoom because I like where it is. So the sun, all you can see ever in the globe model is just a loop. That's all, it, that's the best it can do. So let's do another one. Okay. All right, so we'll do one more. Okay, so it's okay, I'll 
change the zoom, who cares? So we're gonna do one more. Just, you know, might as well get three. It's repeatable. So let's do it. This is science. Okay, just to show you what a complete joke and a fraud the globe religion is. It's a religion, make no mistake about it. It is not supported by a single scientific fact, period. So let's do it. Ta-da! That's it. So that's all you can do in the globe. You can only get loops. It's a... Uh... Okay? It's a complete fraud. That's all you can do. You're just going to get a little loop going around. That's it. And that's the end of the globe! Okay, so I just want to give you the breakdown on paper exactly what we did and we'll show you on the globe as well so just in case people you know, mostly the globe heads they seem to get confused easily they got you know spatial difficulties they can't understand the problems with their ball they just believe that it's the case when it isn't so let's have a look here on the paper okay and there's the ball so, so what we did, starting from up there, and then we went down. So when, you're for, when you've done a quarter of your trip, then the sun, in this case, it's going to be all the way to the left of your, to the right of your screen. Okay, and then here, the sun should be at its highest, and then... When you get to here, okay, it's going to be again towards the, you move that way, the sun's going to move that way. So towards the left of your screen. And then when you complete the trip again at the top, then the sun is going to appear when you're high, the sun is going to appear to be low. Okay. So. So we started at the top of the hill, right where that dirt starts, kind of right there. Okay, and the sun is way down there. And we went clockwise this way. And then, in fact, you could just do it with zoom. Let's just do it. So we started here, and the sun was really low. Okay, right there. And then as we walked down, the camera was going down and the sun was going to the right. And then as we got closer, the sun ended up in the middle. Then as we backed off, it started going, sorry, I meant left. And now it started going to the right and we're going left. Okay. And then it just ends. When you get back to the top again, the sun is in the middle. Okay. So that's the setup. And this is what it looks like on paper. So, okay, you got your sun here, you got your ball here, the globe, and you're standing, this is just one of the latitudes, doesn't matter, say the North Pole is here, and you're pretty close to it, and then let's say the equator or something is, you know, further down, so you're going around this merry-go-round here, you're going this way. Okay, so you start here because you're tilted uh, towards the sun. 
All right, so this is going to be the high point. That's going to be right there, okay, on the ball, right there. And then you're going this way, so you're going to the right. This sun is going to appear at the left of your screen. So you start it off with your screen like that. And then as you're going on the merry-go-round and when you end up here, that sun is going to be about halfway up, so it's going to be right there. Okay? Then as you get to here, to your lowest point, which is right there on the ball, this sun is going to appear up here. Then when you start coming back, okay, you start coming back, here you're starting to move to your left because you're always facing the sun then the sun is going to appear to the right of your screen as you start coming back okay you're coming back now so you end up here and the sun ends up right there and then when you complete your trip back to your starting point okay then the sun is back down again so that's basically how it breaks down and <laughs> the globe is a joke and that's the end of the globe okay one more for the road okay so I'm moving to my right the Sun is going down it's coming up I mean and there we are at the middle of the screen we've done a quarter of the journey and now we're getting to our lowest point. You see the sun is starting to rise. Okay, we're at the lowest point of the journey. And the sun is up. Now we're backing off. Okay, so we're moving to the left now. We're going counterclockwise. The sun's moving to the right. It's in the middle of the screen. And we're still ascending. The sun is descending. Okay, it's still descending. And then by the time we get back to our starting point, the sun is right there at its lowest point. So, and you know, if they, they're, <laughs> this is so funny, and there's no way out of that. Okay, it's a complete uh, orbital mechanical failure. It's a joke. That's why they got little bears on this thing. It's just a complete fraud. And let's do a second round. And that's the. Oh, wait, I got it. And that's the end of the globe! Okay, that's it. Video's done. All right, so the rest we're going to be chilling. Of course, we're going to bring up some more amazing points as usual. Uh, I'll go get the sun, maybe. It's uh, one of those disco balls. <laughs> we might as well. Let's go and show you what it is. Yeah, look at that, look at that. Woohoo! You can tell by the way I walk. <laughs> there it is. All right, can you hear the Bee Gees playing? Okay, that's it. Utter stupidity that you all these balls are floating around and you're on a ball and you're going a thousand times faster than a speeding bullet in five different directions simultaneously, and you can't feel a thing. Okay, that's what you believe as a globe hugger. Okay, don't be stupid. All right, done. Okay, so now that we cleared that up,